Hey guys, today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and lately my whitetail grind has been just completely insane. Within the last week, we have managed to spawn a whitetail great one at 862 kills. Since then, two more rares have spawned and in the stream before the great one spawned in two hours, we managed to spawn seven whitetail diamonds and we actually came away with a diamond black grouse, if you can believe it, that we just ran into while doing the whitetail grind. Now. The strategy that I am using to do the whitetail grind is herd management. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about exactly what herd management is. I'm going to try and answer the most frequently asked questions about herd management because it definitely can be a little bit confusing. And then we are gonna have a look at those two sweet rares that we managed to spawn since the great one came. And that was just three days ago. Now guys, let me know in the comments what your best whitetail kill is to date and definitely stick around right to the end of the video. I am gonna share a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. And we're gonna shoot a couple of these nice big whitetail bucks. Now this dude should turn. Hopefully I can get them both. Once I take this shot, he should turn before he bolts in about half a second. I didn't get him. Got him there. I got him. And splat. Beautiful. So first and foremost, a huge shout out to I Buy Premiums. This strategy that I am using is his and he is absolutely the great one guru. He has spawned over 110 great ones. I'm not sure what his number is to date. He streams just about every day. He does a lot of very, very long streams and he spawns an insane amount of great ones. Now the strategy, basically this is how it works. The first thing you want to do when setting up a herd managed great one grind is to find all of your drink zones for whatever species it is that you're going to be setting up a grind for. So we're going to talk about whitetail in today's video and a 218 and that was a hard shot. And as you notice, I am using the 300 to grind whitetail. No, you don't get integrity for it, but I am shooting the whitetail that don't matter because any 300 bullet into a whitetail will kill it. You're gonna do way less tracking when you use the 300. And then I do have the Zarza 308 with me and that is to shoot diamonds and rares. And a 236, that is two really nice big bucks. Very sweet. So in Revon Tule Coast, I have about 63 drink zones. Last time I counted. So I would say you need between 55 and 65 drink zones. Now when you're looking for them, they're going to be basically on the top two thirds of the map. If I were to draw a line, it would go a little bit like this. Cross, about like that. And then it goes up like that. There is whitetail at that lake. So right through the middle. And then like that, I have piles of whitetail in here. And that is a whitetail zone as well. Now this area down here, you're not going to find any whitetail zones. You don't even have to look there. But all of the water sources above the line that I just drew, any of them can have whitetail zones and they all need to be checked. Now, the more zones you find, the more consistent your respawns will be. So you definitely want to find as many zones as you possibly can. And so to do that, what you want to do is change the time to whitetail drink time. Now, whitetail drink from 8 until 12. I would set the time to about 10 o'clock just to ensure that the whitetail are out. And then what you want to do is go to every single water source and scan the edges of the lake looking for drinking whitetail. You can also pick up their need zone indicators and you can actually do that after whitetail drink. Their need zone indicators will be on the map for at least a couple hours game time. So if you go and you hunt moose, you'll probably find a big stack of whitetail zones while you're out there just from picking up the need zone indicators. Now, while you are looking for your zones, you wanna be carrying tents with you and possibly tripods. And when you do find a zone that has nice big bucks in it, like this one right here, we have a level three and we have a guaranteed diamond. Very sweet. All right, so we'll shoot that guy. But definitely this is a zone that I would set up on. And it's just easier to drop a tent at your best zone. So that way you don't have to remember where the best ones are. You're getting set up right out of the gate. Now I like to set my tents at about 250 meters away from the zone. So if you look here, there's my tent and there's my zone. So the zone's 235 meters from where I am and the tent's back another 20 meters. So I'm exactly 250 meters away from this zone. And then I like to have my tripod about 175 meters away from the zone. That way I can run right in, don't have to slow down, nothing's going to spook. And if I do need to use a collar, they can hear me because I am under 200 
meters. Now the grunt collar does get a little further than 200 meters, but 175 works just great. So they're 190, we're gonna put out a couple calls. We have two level threes here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well that one is definitely gonna be a diamond. This one's guaranteed, but this one actually looks bigger to me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I've had two diamonds spawn in here. That has never happened to me, ever. I have never had two diamonds spawn in at the same time. This is a first! <laughs> And it's pretty amazing that I'm just recording while it happened. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Let's shoot two level threes. I've had two in the same zone, but that's because I've left one there. I did not leave any of these here. I shot all the bucks out of this zone last rotation. And this is what spawned in this time. Here we go. We did it. We got them both. Beautiful. Yes. Now, which one was the guaranteed? I think it was this one, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, he looks like a diamond to me, and he is a gigantic 273.65 diamond. Holy, that is a monster. That is a huge diamond. I'm even gonna taxi it. I don't taxi whitetail very much anymore. I just don't have anywhere to put them, but this guy is definitely worthy. Okay, now you, my buddy, you can do it, but can he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he is a diamond too! That is insane! Oh my gosh. And if you look at this photo, I almost missed the shot. Almost. But I didn't. <laughs> very, very sweet. That is completely insane. I'm actually gonna taxi these guys and put them in a multi-mount as the first two diamonds to spawn in to the same zone at the exact same time. That is completely insane. And this is where they spawned here in Rutanen. And this is the zone where the great ones spawned. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna say the herd management is definitely working. So getting back, what I do when I have nothing in the zone is I do a little one minute trick. So what you wanna do is go into a tent and put the time forward by one minute. Most of the time it does bring in spawns at your next zone, but not always. So it is expensive, but I find with whitetail, you don't have to do it too much, but with moose, you have to do it pretty much every single time. Now we're almost out of time here. Now the reason you wanna do it in a tent is it is going to save you 25%. It is always cheaper to change the time in a tent than in an outpost. And it did not do a thing that time. Of course, all right. So once you have discovered all of your whitetail drink zones, what you wanna do is use 16 tents and set up on 16 different zones. You wanna be setting up on zones with your biggest deer. And once you are set up, basically you're gonna choose eight of those zones to be your main shooting zones. Those are gonna be your most wide open, easily accessible zones. And you're gonna pick eight, and those are gonna be your exterior zones. But basically every drink zone on the map, except for the eight, Eight main shooting lakes that you choose are going to be exterior zones. So what you're gonna wanna do once you have selected them is you're going to rotate on all 16 zones at the same time. You don't wanna be shooting just main shooting zones or just exterior zones, that is not going to work. You wanna be rotating on all of them and you wanna be shooting the mid levels. Now when diamonds spawn, if they spawn on your main shooting lakes, you wanna stack them. And what that means is you're just gonna leave them there for a little while. Now, the reason you stack with herd management is when you have diamonds on the map, the game likes to maintain a certain amount of balance. And what that's gonna do is it's going to cause you to have smaller respawns because you already have a lot of trophy rating on the map. And that's what you want at all of your exterior zones. You want small things to spawn in. What you are trying to do at all of your exterior zones is shoot them until you have nothing but level ones and very small level twos. And once you do come to a zone, an exterior zone, and you do find all small stuff, then what you wanna do is pick up your tent and your tripod and move to another drink zone and keep doing that until all of the exterior zones, until everything, every whitetail zone on the map is shot down except for your eight main shooting lakes. Once all of your exterior lakes are shot down, then you can shoot your diamonds because they have then served their purpose. And then you can pull your tents and set them up on your main shooting lake as pickup tents. And that is where I am in my grind right now. I have been doing this grind well, we have spawned four Great One Whitetail, so I have been doing this grind in Revontuli for quite a while, but here are my zones right now. I have two on this lake, two on this lake, that's four, then I have one here, five, six, 
seven. And one over here is eight. Those are my eight, and that's what I'm working with. And so I shoot diamonds as they spawn now. I don't need to stack them anymore. And now all I want to do at this point is just go through and continually shoot the mid-levels. Now, if you do get something small spawning onto a main shooting lake, you can shoot it because if you don't, it is going to be there forever. Now, because you have all of these zones that are full of very small whitetail, what that is going to do is then cause you to get nothing but nice big spawns. Most of my zones have level two whitetail in them. So there is no guarantee that herd management will spawn you a great one sooner, but it definitely will help you to get way more diamonds, larger rares. It's not gonna give you more rares. Rare spawning is completely RNG, but it definitely will help with the size of them. And it definitely can help with spawning super rares. Now I am really trying to spawn a super rare that has not happened for me yet. So I am going to keep on shooting, but basically that is herd management in a nutshell. Now, if you guys do have more questions on herd management, definitely leave them in the comments below and I will do my very best to answer all of them because I really do want you guys to understand this if it is something you are interested in doing. Beauty, we got them both. But once you get to the point where you're just grinding your main shooting lakes and you do have pickup tents, you can get through this grind really fast and I find at least it's been the experience for me that I seem to be able to spawn whitetail great ones a lot faster than moose great ones. Well, the moose grind takes a lot longer, but even just in kills, my last three great ones have been in under a thousand kills. That is a pretty short grind if you ask me. Now, do you have to do herd management in order to get a great one? Absolutely not. I have done many grinds where I have gotten great ones without using herd management. And so what I would recommend if you would not like to do herd management is to still find all of your drink zones set up on your best zones and start shooting those males. And I am gonna recommend trying to stay away from shooting the little ones because they're not gonna do a huge amount to help you in spawning a great one, but that's just my opinion. So let's have a look at those two sweet rares that we managed to spawn since the great one spawned three days ago. Zero kills. Okay. Oh, oh, we got a Mela. <laughs> look at this beauty. Look at that. What is happening today? Oh my gosh. If I go here, he's gonna spook. I could come in from here. I think we should use the same handgun because okay, I'm still waiting for that super rare though. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do um, black bears, but we're also gonna, we're gonna jump back between whitetail, I think, and black bears. I wanna grind everything. I wanna grind moose too. <laughs> I can't do it all. He's not huge, but he's he's very pretty. The next thing I'm shooting after the great one. Oh, I wanted to take a picture of my codex. There it is. Your whitetail strategy is mwah. It's it's just so great. I was just saying how amazing my Revontuli whitetail grind has been for a very long time. That's why I refuse to pull down whitetail to do moose on this map. It's just too good here. I can't do it. I just shot the great one. I did. I did, and now there is a melanistic here. <laughs> okay, he's just lighting himself up perfectly. Did he leave? Oh, there he is. He is 48 meters. Oh, look at my wind. My wind turned. Oh, goody. Oh, I guess I turned too. Oh, that is no angle. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, you didn't see me. Did he just spook? Did he just spook? No, no, no. I gotta shoot him. I gotta shoot him right now. No! No! Don't leave! Oh my gosh. Should I shoot him? Should I risk it? Oh, I'm not doing that again. No, I'm not doing that again. Okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay. There he is. Okay. I haven't had a mellow white tail in months. Everything just happens at the same time. It's very weird. And there he is. I will definitely taxi that beauty. Well. That's pretty cool. Very sweet. Okay. 
I, I don't think I can shoot that. That could be rare. I certainly can't see that. I have no idea. I can't see either one of them. I, I have no shot on either one of them. Wow. Okay. I have a shot at him. I still don't have a shot at this guy. I'm just gonna shoot the one. Jeez, I didn't even get him. That's terrible. I tried to clip his spine, but it's- Oh, it was albino! Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't shoot that with the 300! Thank you, Jesus! Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! Look at that thing! Well, I, I even said that could be rare. I would have no way to see that, and it was. <laughs> no, it was it was in a tree behind a rock, and it was in a tree. I couldn't, and it's over 300 meters away. Oh my gosh, that thing is beautiful! <laughs> That's insane. I can't believe it. I'm, <laughs> I'm speechless. Okay, I gotta get this guy back into his zone so we can shoot that albino. And I just said that thing could be rare. I don't want to shoot it in case it is. And then I had no shot. I tell you, you, you know what? If you can't tell what it is because it's hidden in a tree, don't shoot it. Just don't shoot it. I would have felt sick if I had shot that with a 300. I would have felt sick. Oh, I have more than two albinos, but I only have one gold albino. So this is my second gold albino. There it is! There it is. Oh, it's it's nice. Yeah, that definitely should be gold. Okay, I need to take a good shot on this beauty. You know what? I think I'm gonna get close to him. I think I might shoot him with the rhino. I'm gonna shoot him with something else. Maybe I'll shoot him with the Marathi. Let's shoot him with the Marathi. See, he's only 278 meters from here. And I have a beautiful wind. Delightful. Where are you? I don't even see him, but I'm gonna have to crouch now. I don't even know where it is, so I, I'm gonna... We're getting pretty close. Let's get the dog to chill. Oh my gosh, where... <laughs> I can't... Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, I am like right on top of them. This- I should have brought my bow! I, I might spook him though, because I'm 45 meters and I can't see him. There he is, there he is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He is... 26 meters! The lowest I can zero- oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Turn my dude! Turn my dude! And he is down! Yes! Oh, he's beautiful! Oh, he is beautiful! Yes! Yes! He is... Oh, he is awesome! Oh, he's beautiful! Yeah! There's his pink hooves and his white fluffy tail! He is so beautiful. Well, that is very, very sweet. And look at that pose. I'm definitely taxiing that. That is amazing. My best white-tailed deer? You mean my best diamond? Is a 275.53. And the keyword for today's video is crazy albino. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here for the Great Ones playlist.